Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Hi everybody, okay, so we talked about aligning your workouts to lose weight, now let's talk about your food. And I've told you this before, but about 80% of your weight and the way you look is what you are eating. So how can we get this on track? And it's not just by eating shakes. So yes, you can go on all these shake diets that are the big rage right now, but what happens? Can you live on that? No. So what happens is you lose the weight and then you go back to eating your regular food and you gain it all back. Why? Because you haven't learned any new habits. So we're gonna talk about how you can eat the food that you wanna eat and still get the body you want. So how are we gonna do that? Well, if you wanna lose weight, 10 times your body weight today is your calories that you can eat. So if you weigh 120 pounds, you can have 1,200 calories a day. Okay, now how do we figure this out? There is an amazing app, it's called My Fitness Pal. It's on every smartphone and you download that and you enter in, you say, okay, my calories are 1,200 calories and then you can barcode scan, you can enter in, you can go Chick-fil-A, chicken nuggets and pretty much it'll come up. If not, you know, you can go on and figure that out, obviously, but it makes it so completely simple and then you put in the serving. So I had, um, five pretzels and you barcode scan the pretzel box and up it comes and the foods that you eat, the database remembers what you ate. So every time you eat the same food, it's right there. You just click it and it goes right to it. It subtracts out your calories for you. It makes it so easy. But by becoming conscious and aware of your calories and what you're eating, you'll be surprised where those extra calories come in that you didn't know you were eating. But this allows you to make great decisions. So if you want to go to Starbucks and have a 500 calorie drink, go for it. But guess what? That 500 calories comes out of your 1200. So now you only have 700 calories and you're gonna have to budget that in for the rest of the day. So I like to talk about your calories like you talk about budgeting your bank account. So if you have $50 to spend all day today and you know you have to go to the bank and you have to go to the grocery store and you're going out to dinner tonight, you have to figure out where you're gonna spend your money to budget it so that you have money to last you the whole day, correct? Okay, so same thing, with 1,200 calories, you have to figure out how you're gonna budget those calories. If you want two glasses of wine every night for 240 calories, let's say, you can have that, but then you gotta take out food somewhere else. Okay, so let's talk about calorie-free food. Salad, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, I think those are negligible calories. Pickles, calorie-free. Celery, negative calories. So you can eat a lot of that stuff. So if you wanna go and eat 1,000 calories in pizza for dinner tonight, well, then you only have 200 calories to work with for the rest of your day. It's doable, right? But you have the, you have the power to make those choices for yourself and make it work every day. Now, on an occasion, if you wanna go out and splurge and not think about it, that's fine. What the problem is, is that one bad day turns into two bad days, turns into a month of bad days. So be conscious, go out, enjoy your night, have a great night, don't think about calories. But tomorrow morning, wake up and get back on your game and start tracking it and start seeing where your calories are going. Start with that and let me know how it goes. Have a great day. Hey, by the way, message me. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you. Follow me at www.lifestylejewels.com or my Facebook page, Julie Zander or Lifestyle Jewels. Also, Lifestyle Jewels on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. So, hope to see you soon. Bye. Second step, eat up some